It's a kick away. Play continues and he's still down. Keep an eye on for Solo in the hands of trainers right now. Clark. Maxwell bangs it towards full forward. Thomas. Here he is. A spin, a turn, a handball for Solo. Bounced up. He can smell a goal. He's got back up. With nice turn from Thomas. Just turned his direct opponent inside out. And uh, he's got in the right spot for Solo, as he can do. Have a look at the uh, third eye from the goal umpire. Straight over the goal umpire's hat for his third eye. Cloak the target. Front spot, and it was a two on one in the end. Thomas still tried on. to keep it alive. He did keep it alive to his own advantage. Oh, yeah. Flicks it over the top, and there's the first goal for Jamie Elliott in AFL footy. Keep taking the ball over the line, and certainly the Suns players thought they'd gone over the line. See, Bennell and Sexton and Warnock just watched him run past there, and great hands in the end to get over the top. Is that a handball? I don't think it was, but it's been deemed a handball, <laughs> and it's created a goal. So. Whatever it was, it was creative. It was a it was sort of throw, <laughs> throw, but it's a goal. So nice work from the point. To Maxwell, to Beams, and they are beaming right now. Goldsack pushed his man out, free kick. No. Okay, it's Clark's ball. Before the mark, here we go here. Goldsack the push. There it is. Okay, it was a bump in the side, but it wasn't really in a marking contest. But the umpire deemed that it wasn't enough, and fair enough. Travis Clark to line up. And he hit that sweep. His first of the afternoon. Wood and Thompson in the ruck. Wood with the palm down and Pendlebury with a cheer for the clearance. A little one-two with Beams. Cloak the target, feeds back onto it and got it again. Well, he's just too strong. Just two kicks for the entire game last week and no goals. He's already got two this afternoon. Over the back. So when the ball comes in long, Cloak can go back with the fly of the ball and hold his direct opponent under it and see Cloak's got 25 metres behind him, pushes forward, but now doubles back and turns Warnock around. And that was really nice forward work in a contested situation. Warnock just can't allow Cloak to get behind him in that situation. Otherwise, it's going to be too easy and he'll kick a massive amount of goals. Hickey went up high. Thompson, Sexton, McKenzie, a late inclusion for the Gold Coast. And Pendlebury's taken the mark. That was a test for the knee. Well, well, was, he was touched off the boot. Pendlebury from 45. They put the minute work sign out, Collingwood, early in this game. Play on. Front spot, Hickey, down to play Pendlebury. On. Thomas, play on, play on. touch play, play on the core. Bennell, caught, turns it over. Quick hack forward by Elliott. Goal square, danger again. Blair bumped on the kick, Goldsack. Stanley took it away from him, Goldsack stole it back, gave it up to oh. Buckley. And he bends it around the body beautifully. Okay. It's a nice work there, but it's just no time and space the Suns have. That's a terrific snap. I mean, that's a goal out of nothing. It was really interesting watching the Suns players running back to the centre square. Gary Ablett just put his arm around Joel Wilkinson and had a chat to him. And I think just suggesting, careful with those tactics on Scotty Pendlebury. It's a 100% contest. From the ball up, Pendlebury flicks it up, Blair. Buckley. Clock. Too good. Touch, touch play, almost the call. See, that was touched in the marking contest. Yeah. Quite often they pay that as a mark. You'd often may, uh, it, they always do. <laughs> <laughs> they well, do. Play on as well. Dynak from the pocket, centering, discipline, kick, and Wood takes the mark. And that also could be poetic justice because well, there has been played a mark for 100 years, a touch in the marking contest. No jolly this afternoon. Senior spot in this team up against a, uh, a young couple of ruckmen, and just see here the turnover, the ball goes in long, and uh, yeah, that's a Didac just trying to set it up here, goes a bit further back, and uh, good setup, good goal. CG 
this year. We do have a couple more to come this year here, the Gold Coast. For Solo, bangs it. She got plenty of shoe on it. It's long and it bounces through. His second. Travis Clark on the goal line did enough to allow it to bounce through as well. See this stoppage. Cameron Wood's been going quite nicely. Thomas is getting his uh, hand on the ball a lot. He's up to 14 disposals and a great snap around the body. And that is pretty much on the, the white dot and straight through the middle. So nice work from the Pies. They stretch the lead out to 26. And make that 16 for Ablett. Although he's wrapped up and you can't count that as a touch. Elliot. Maxwell. Sinclair. And what a season he's having. Still eligible for a NAB Rising Star. He needs to improve his finishing. A little mate, put a bit more consistency in his kick. You can see he'll kick from just inside 50. And from 45 degrees, the angle. That was never in doubt. He's got the goods, the kid. Opportunity to spend more time on the ground because of injuries. But he's uh, putting his hand up to say, I want to be in the best 22 at the end of the season. And he's doing everything to suggest he might be at this stage. So really good work, good build-up. And as we see, so often that Collingwood have the numbers defensive side and they can set up with good spread. And Nick Maxwell, nice finish to hit up a target inside 50. Finding some form at the right time, Alan Dynak. Long pump. Cloak. Couldn't chest mark it. Side bottom. Beams. Long to the square. This could bounce as well. Williams made it his. And he goes. And Marley Williams kicks his first goal in AFL footy. Stage, uh, in the first quarter, but uh, he's finding himself on the end of the ball here. Dane Beams, who's uh, had 10 disposals to this stage of the game, got the ball in long. Good acceleration off the mark from uh, Williams. Just got him in front of Shaw. That's a really nice little handy goal. And they stretch the lead out to 38 now. So he knows his stuff in the world of AFL and he's really starting to blossom. Willingham hands it off. Dynak starting to blossom in 2012. Not touched on the line. He'd run away from him was Alan Dynak. And so he was Danny Stanley's kick, was it? Yeah, so Abbott's taken off. And in, because Dynak didn't chase as hard as he might have hoped, um, he's there in space on the way back and kicks the goal. So Rory Thompson just had an air swing here. And he didn't seem, yeah, just missed that one. Cool, calm, and calculated right now, Collingwood. Thomas, Harry O, Beams from the pocket, and from the pocket kicks an amazing goal. It's a cold blooded kill in the offering right now. Difficult for Blue McKinney, you can see him there. He would be feeling rather helpless watching things as they are at the moment. Just relentless running. They work hard. They're disciplined. They're a strong side. And they've got a lot of quality and polish. And the ability to finish. I mean, Dane Beams, over the last few years, has really elevated himself as a high-quality midfield. Become an important player for Collingwood. situation just needed to keep the ball moving forward get it over the line Warnock probably needed to knock the ball forward but uh, Thomas great work again and that's the second occasion he's generated a goal the first one from for him in that situation great play Beams for Solo Buckley it's amazing what a bit of match fitness can do for you that's true to half forward Goldsack palm that down Elliot extracted a kick bouncing ball cloak beaten for a buck Thompson he left it behind hands to Sinclair goal out of the copybook and they're putting on a clinic 40 points here and you can see Matt Shaw he's he's following the footy he's watching the footy he's not watching his opponent Ben Sinclair who gets goal side of him and just uh, heads towards goal gets the easy hand pass he was too busy watching the contest taking himself out of play 
He was no chance of impacting the ball, and he's lost contact with his opponent, but he's a terrific... Willingham. Elliott. The one-two works. Yugel in the pocket. Not the third grab. Gathers his own crumb. Bounces it back towards Gidak, and it works. Gidak on the stand. He's got the magic back. Sits up beautifully. He doesn't get a lot of right boot on it, but he gets enough. And one thing that Alan Didak does have is remarkable goal sense. He always knew where they were, and his ability to kick the goal when it didn't look like it was a certainty. And we've seen that time and time again over the years. Collingwood list is. Or how good Nathan Buckley's coaching's been in his first year. Well, Thomas. He hasn't, he hasn't had a miss yet, has he? Didak. This is this bloke since he came back from injury. Dane Beans went very good. Beams, cloak. Another one of their new players this year. What a moment for him. He gets a chance to kick his second goal. That is a gem. That is a spear. Half a team that's out for Collingwood at the moment. You can see there's three key defenders in Keith Reed and Tarrant. You've got Shaw, who's a gun running defender, Tuvi, who is just about in all Australian form. Johnson, Swan, who's one of their premium on ballers. McCaffrey, Cracker, Jolly, Ball. It's two thirds of a great team there. His brother played four games, Reese, for Essendon a few years ago. Clark, straight down the middle. Cloak, bounces kindly. He feeds back, runs onto it. Can't pass one. Oh, great chance. chase. Fantastic chase down tackle. Sinclair kicks the goal. the contest a great tackle didn't give away the free kick pulled back Travis Cloak but Sinclair was there on the spot and just towed it through for a goal so very good from Russell but once again fantastic from Collingwood they just always got numbers there at the stoppages at the spillages and at the goal face Megan dragged down Thomas fighting hard Marley Williams open spaces ahead now just needs to pick a target it's got doors out wide by hand and here has Cloak long by foot. Ignores Cloak, goes central, gold sack. That'll do. For a 78 point margin, gold sack long. Doesn't have a lot of the ball, but he's a really dangerous option whether he's up around the wing, half forward, or deep as a leading target. Find space in the forward 50 and can kick his opportunities like he has on that occasion so good work found another player and uh, he's just really uh, making the most of this opportunity plenty of game time for him it's coming from isn't it and well, Collingwood have Melbourne wow. next week Queen's birthday and then thereby we'll show you the next four games or four weeks shortly but one more game in the bye for Collingwood Wellingham long Sinclair down there again. Off some hands, Cloak can't miss it from there. Getting the ball inside 50 and converting, but this one again to that dangerous position. Once the ball gets over the back, you're in a lot of trouble, and especially as we know Collingwood do, always have numbers running towards the goal. And a nice goal from Cloak on the end of some good work from up the field. Well, you mentioned uh, some Collingwood players started to look a bit tired. I reckon this is where they can really exploit um, their maturity in terms of three seasons over the Gold Coast Suns because there's a lot of Suns players that are barely lifting their feet and there are some serious running machines in Collingwood's outfit. Wellingham plays on, wastes no time. He's working very nicely. Good tackling pressure, as we see, was again in the lead up with Travis Cloak. But Wellingham, good mark coming back with a fly of the ball. And just probably a lapse of con concentration from the Gold Coast Suns boys as he plays on on the right. Play on. Play on. Play on. Beams. Side bottom. Young can get and go. Play on. Dynak feeds onto it. Almost within range. He sets it up. Thomas. Yeah, great mark. Such a good player. As we've, uh, we've sung his praises all day. He's midfield. Daisy Thomas, but he's kicked seven goals at one this year. 
It's men versus boys. Last quarter for Collingwood. But uh, good clearance here out the back. And here's their spread. It was really good. Tom Young over to Alan Didak is just running the game out beautifully with 27 disposals and good initial contact made by Daisy Thomas to put Wilkinson off the ball. Took a really good contested grab. Young, Eugle, Dawes gets a possession on cue. Here's that one-on-one. -on -one. Thomas, in fact, it's Warnock with him right now. Warnock beats him to it. Thomas Cagey uses his body and rolls it towards goal. They're being crawled to be kind, Collingwood. I mean, look, you've got to be disappointed with Matthew Warnock's effort here. He's a key defender. He's got front position. He's got the ball on his terms. And he allows himself just to be bundled off it too easily. But that is the skill of Dale Thomas. He can do it all. He can take the high marks. He can get the ground balls. He can... Run an eternity is a super athlete, skillful player, all round package. Contested. <laughs> Give you an idea, Dale Thomas has had 32 touches, 20 of them contested possessions. Unbelievable effort. 11 clearances as well for Dale Thomas. O'Brien down the line. Dying oh, seconds. Young. Great grab. Maybe one last goal left. Eugle could have a shot. No one in front of him. Has another bounce. Runs inside 50. Says, eat my dust. Hands it over in the end. Jamie Elliott finishes it off with a big exclamation point. They're an exciting team, Collingwood, and this uh, stretches out the 97 points, and I think they're perfectly positioned. They'll drip feed the injury, uh, injured players back into the side over the next two months, and they might be just looking uh, very, very dangerous come finals time, but they're in great touch, as Kingy said. It's about their systems and their structures and the way that everyone is drilled as far as work ethic, offensively and defensively, is concerned. They know if they get a start in this 22, They've got to fly the flag and work at 100%, uh, otherwise they won't last long. And, and certainly the standard has been well and truly set this season for the Collingwood players. Got some acceleration, Kirk Eagle. Back to you, Kingy. Well, we just grabbed uh, Travis Clegg. You've been everywhere, mate, in the media lately. We're all talking about you. You got some touch back today. Yeah, it's nice to get a kick and a few marks, but um, yeah, obviously the kicking boot wasn't on the day. A few points and a few elsewhere. You normally just factor that into the equation, don't you? Yeah, it seems to be a thing every <laughs> week, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty worse today. We've just been working hard and not getting the rewards, or did you feel like a big game was around the corner for you? Yeah, I've been pushing, just keep trying to get there, and last week, um, right into this, absolutely powered me up. So um, back to the drawing board and done a fair bit of work off the field, and uh, it's slowly starting to turn, which is nice. Didn't happen to catch any of the uh, games over the weekend with the other big power forwards getting going and kicking goals, did you? Yeah, I saw a little bit of it, and uh, yeah, the, both the boys have done very well, and uh, for us, well, the boys did very well tonight as well to get a nice win. Nothing to report contract-wise for us late in the piece? No, nah, nothing there at the moment, but <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Go and enjoy. No problem. See you later.